you can see this MCCB I have now. How we can perform the wiring of the MCCB so that on pressing a single push button, this MCCB will trip. Apart from this, if our MCCB remain in off condition, then off indication lamp glows. If MCCB remains in on condition, then on indication lamp will glow. How all these types of wiring needs to be done will be discussed in this video. So friends, let's start the video. So here I have a 125 ampere MCCB breaker and this MCCB breaker is manufactured by CNC company. This MCCB breaker can only be turned on or turned off manually. I need to do some modification here. Modification in the sense that when I turn on MCCB, then the indication, this red indication will glow and it will be concluded that MCCB is an on condition. After this, if I turn off the MCCB breaker, then this green indication must glow. It will be cleared from glowing green indication that MCCB is in off condition. Apart from this, one more thing is when I press this push button, then the MCCB which is in on condition will instantly trip. So for any MCCB breaker, the on indication as well as for shun tripping, you have to use a different contact. From these two, this one is known as shun coil. Shun coil means when you provide power supply to this, then it will pull this lever and through this lever MCCB breaker will be tripped. This shunt coil of MCCB breaker has very simple working. You can see two wires are provided and when you connect these wires with AC power supply, I am connecting with a socket so that I can explain you. Now when I turn on power supply, this lever will be pulled. You can see how lever is pulled. So when this lever will be pulled, then MCCB breaker will be tripped. Apart from this, in your MCCB breaker, for on-off indication, you have to use an auxiliary contact. This device which you are looking at is known as auxiliary contact. When we mount this inside the MCCB breaker, then this lever will work in accordance with on-off condition. In this type of auxiliary contact, you will find three wires. Among these three, one is NO, one is NC and one will be common. If you want to confirm that which one is NO and which one is NC, then what you have to do is at this MCCB breaker, look at this side of MCCB breaker. You will find a circuit diagram. Here it is written auxiliary contact and here F11. F11 wire is a common wire. F12 will be NC and F14 is NO. At the wires when you look closely, then you can see this one is F11, so this is common. F12 is NC and F14 is our NO. In our shunt coil also, there is a ferrule and 230 volt is written. It means to operate this coil, we have to provide 230 volt. Whenever you want to connect shunt coil, then look at the operating voltage because you will get shunt coil working on AC or working on DC as well. Even for different voltage, you can get different shunt coil. So first confirm that how much operating voltage is required. For connection of this, what you have to do is simply open the cover of this MCCB breaker. So I opened this and removed the cover. Now here you can see some spaces provided. At these spaces, you need to connect these contacts. This auxiliary contact have to be installed at this side, means on left hand side. Mounting of auxiliary contact is simple. What you have to do is from this mount option here, place this in this hole. It is very simple. You can do it easily. This is perfectly mounted. This also has to be mounted in similar way. From the option here, mount in this hole. So I am mounting this here. After mounting, just turn on this and at tripping button present here, you can check tripping by pressing button. If everything is normal, then place the cover back at its position. Now for this MCCB breaker, first these wires of auxiliary contact has to be connected. For this, I am using two indication lamps. First you have to open this and after that, at this red indication, the phase supply is to be provided from one of these wires. Red indication must glow when MCCB turned to on condition. So what I will do is, among these three wires, the wire of NO contact, NO contact wire is F14. Take the F14 wire. Let's first insert from this cover of box. I inserted all the three wires. Now the F14 wire, which is this black one, and connect this with red indication for phase supply. The NC contact of this MCCB breaker, NC contact is F12. Take the F12 wire, which is this one. This brown wire here is F12. Take this wire and connect with green indication lamp. One wire left in this auxiliary contact is known as common wire. 
connect common wire with phase supply. To connect wire with phase supply, you can directly use incoming power supply. But I also have to perform connections for shunt tripping. So first we will do the connections of this, then we will come back to common wire. I am using a wire here. I will connect this wire with any of these terminals for phase supply. This is a B phase power supply, so I am connecting wire with this terminal. Other end of the wire is to be connected with this stop push button. You have to keep in mind that behind this stop push button, you have to use NO contact. So along with the wire, connect NO contact also. This white wire of auxiliary contact is remaining. We have to connect this wire with the phase supply. From this point, we connected a wire to this point. So I am directly connecting the wire with this point for clear view of wiring. Now there are two wires of shunt coil. Connect one wire with NO contact terminal here. So I connected wire with output terminal of push button. The connections I am explaining you right now is for push button. Along with this breaker, you can use this limit switch also. You must have seen the electrical panel. When you open the panel, MCCB gets tripped. In that condition, you have to use NC contact of limit switch. When gate is closed, NC contact remains open. When gate opens, power is supplied through this which tripped the breaker. It depends on which logic you want the breaker to be tripped. The other wire of the shunt coil is to be provided with neutral power supply. For neutral supply, I am using a different wire. Take this wire directly to this indication lamp and connect with this indication lamp because for indication lamp, neutral supply is also required for glowing. Now I am using another piece of wire and from this terminal, I will loop this wire to other indication lamp for providing neutral power supply to other indication lamp. The other wire of the shunt coil will also be connected at this same point to provide neutral power supply. So only this much connection is required. I will cover everything and move on to working part. All the connections are now completed and you can see right now NCCB is in off condition. So off indication lamp is glowing. You can see this lamp is glowing. When I turn on this, you can see load is turned on and along with this on indication lamp also started glowing. If I want to trip this breaker, then by simply pressing push button, I can let this breaker trip. Let's reset this and turn on the breaker. You can see on indication lamp started glowing. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.